Hello, welcome to your month of September and seasonal quarterly readings for fall. The autumnal equinox begins on Friday, September 22nd at 1.02 p.m. Pacific Standard Time when the sun enters into the tropical sign of Libra at zero degrees, marking the turning of the seasons. We have a more favorable astrological event occurring this month which is Mercury going station direct on September 5th in Leo. In August, we were able to use the Mercury retrograde as an opportunity to reflect on the power of our words. This month, communication will begin to run more smoothly. For your readings, I will combine the month of September and fall seasons together in two parts. So for the first part will be the monthly forecast for September and the second part will be for autumn where I will draw four cards. One card for the remainder of September from the 22nd through the 30th, two cards for the months of October and November as a whole, and a card for December up until the winter solstice on the 21st. Okay, so let's get started with your readings. Cancer, for your September monthly forecast, I'm using the traditional Rider Waite deck and I will be doing the Celtic Cross spread. So let's see what energies show up for you for September. I see that you have a decision to make when it comes to a group of people and I see actually you not knowing what decision is the best. I see that you're kind of a little bit at a loss right here. Maybe a little bit of confusion. You're just not sure. And I do see that there's somebody else coming that you may be talking to. This is some sort of advice that you may have. It's a friend that's sort of helping you out in some way, um, sort of navigate the situation. Again, there's some sort of choice. There's some sort of decision. You're weighing the pros and cons here. I feel like whatever it is, it's some sort of strong advice. Again, there's the group here. So you have the 10 of pentacles, which is like a lot of people. This could be in a work situation. This could be in a family situation. Whatever it is, there's the, there's the other 10 here. So it feels very supportive. It feels very loving. Cups are usually about relationships and mutual support and all of that. So you have the two 10s, which is like fullness. There's a lot of people involved. Okay, again, you have the two, you have the two of cups, or excuse me, two of swords, two of pentacles, and then you have the two of cups in the past. Okay, I, I get the sense that there's somebody new that had recently joined this team or this network that you're involved with, or this group that you're involved with. It could be a new friend that joined your circle as well. And there's something that you're sort of trying to come to terms with, sort of trying to balance it out. It's like the new energy that you're trying to incorporate for the harmony of everyone involved. And I do see that this is a collaborative effort, okay? Friends, social circles, it could be work, something that you're sort of working on together as a group. There's more than one person involved. I feel like there's many people involved, okay? You have the strength here. So there could be some sort of obstacle. You will get through it. I do see that, that there is some frustration here uh, with the Knight of Swords. You're like, you know, <laughs> this is a card of frustration. It's a card of just wanting to get things done with already. You just want to get it sorted out. There may be somebody, there's this like conflict resolution is what I'm seeing here. Because you also have the Hierophant card, which is really about, you know, established order. It's the rules. It's what's expected of you. It's what is expected of other people. Maintaining high ethics, okay? Um, and I do, I do see that it's a place. It's a place that you're very familiar with. It's traditional, okay? It's a traditional place. 
Um, this could really be anywhere, to be honest. It could be a church. It could be the workplace that you go to every day. It's a place of gathering, okay? It's the establishment here. So what is established? You have the hopes and fears here. It's the Queen of Cups. This may be the person that you've just recently incorporated or integrated into the group. There may be some sort of challenge that you have to deal with with her. Your hope, um, you know, Cancer, is that everything will just sort of work itself out, okay? Maybe you're feeling that like there's not a lot that you can do, okay? It does feel like you do have to have other people sort of get them involved because I feel like you doing it on your own isn't just isn't enough okay um so that's what I'm sensing here it's like you know you really like this person maybe there's been some sort of difficulty with incorporating them into the group but I see this as being like a central theme here is working co um, cohesively as a team everyone needs to just sort of get along <laughs> and that's what you're that's the this sort of queen of cups energy she's just like you know let's now now let's just get along let's just make nice right but it looks like it's beyond just making nice it looks like you have to sort of implement some sort of rules and you're like kind of stuck as to how to go about doing that so again it could be in a home situation it could be family um, it could just be a group or an organization that you are a part of but you're sort of having to make some sort of decision when it comes to that you can't just passively not do anything about it it looks like you have to and maybe you don't like being put in that position so that's kind of what I'm seeing. Those themes show up for September. So now that we've done that, I want to go ahead and do the forecast for autumn. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to be pulling four cards. So let's see what needs to show up for the sign of Cancer. There it is. There we go. Yep. I do see that. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you. You are the Queen of Pentacles. You have a very soft, very gentle approach, a very mature approach. You have the experience as well. And you tend to be very mothering and caring towards the people that are around you, that you work with, that you deal with on a daily basis. Um, she's very soft you know, but she also has boundaries, okay? She's not a pushover, but she's very kind, she's very considerate and respectful, okay? So that's sort of the archetype that you're taking on. It's very, you're very grounded. Again, you have the experience. Um, I feel like, you know, you're organizing your finances really well. You're dealing with all of that well. Um, resources, money, things like that. Um, I, I don't see an issue if you're the Queen of Pentacles here. You're managing your resources. I, I was thinking also maybe human resources when I said that. Either way, you do have this Three of Pentacles card again. This is what showed up in your September spread. So again, cooperation, collaboration, working as a team. I see that you need other people in order to sort of build and um, work towards the next stages of what you're trying to create here. Um, there is an element of cooperation. Everything sort of is in a very delicate balance, okay? Nobody here can drop the ball. Everything has to roll smoothly, and I feel like it will. So that's September. October, you've got justice coming. I feel like there's some sort of reckoning, or I feel like there's some sort of um, accounting Accounting for what you've done as a team is coming up here in October. It could literally be accounting or seeing an accountant. Um, maybe it's like six months taxes. I don't know. Um, but there's something official here. There's some sort of document, some sort of paperwork, and it's related to what you've been working on as a team, okay? Making sure that everything is balanced in order. You've got the books, you know, you balanced the books sort of thing. Especially if you're the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, you're sort of managing resources. 
beautiful month of November. You've got the star, okay? Hopes and wishes. Things feel a little bit lighter. You're going to be really putting in a lot of work the next uh, September and October. This is more of like the rewards coming in. It's a job well done. You're being recognized. You're being rewarded. This is like wishes coming true. And it feels really empowering. It feels really wonderful. Um, this is like heavenly help, heavenly guidance, guidance from your angels. Um, it's just, it's like my favorite card. I love the star card. Okay. December, you have the Prince of Pentacles. It's somebody that is either a friend or on your team that you can really count on, you can rely on. And the bond has been built stronger through whatever you're going with or going through with this person in fall uh, so the early part of December um, you both may be rewarded since you're holding a pentacle and so is this person it may be a female it may be a male but the prince of pentacles is like really accomplished okay satisfactory a job well done Okay, so this is a great outcome as long as you know you do your due diligence don't let you know don't drop the ball make sure that everything is working together as a team as a unit um, resolve any sort of um, conflict or like conflict resolution I feel like you're gonna come out on top here it feels really feels really successful and rewarding and you're gonna get your wish when it comes to something there in uh, in November. This part is a little bit unscripted. I didn't mention it in the intro, but I do want to pull an oracle card from the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards deck. I just thought it would be a nice way to cap off your reading, Cancer. So let's see what messages or what message needs to come through to you that is applicable to September and fall in general okay <laughs> this card has come up for Aries and Taurus so it seems to be the the star card what is it that you desire I did say that your wishes would be coming true in November or around then it just feels like a very benevolent energy is sort of protecting you and guiding you here all right, so it says you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Beautiful. I see a friend really helping you out or somebody that turns into a really good friend um, that may have just sort of been an acquaintance. I feel like there's a deepening of that. They're going to help you reach your desires. Again, this has to do with collaboration. You're not doing it all on your own, but the outcome is very uh, fortunate. And you've deserved it, okay? You deserve it. So again, it's an accounting. So if you put in the work, you're going to reap the rewards here, okay? So this is your message for September and fall. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. If you would like a personalized reading that is specific to you and your circumstances, please contact me through my website, sungoddessashley.com or via email. I will leave the links in the description box below. Wishing you the best month of September and commencement of autumn.